Hi guys, welcome to our Paper Sloyd recap video for year one. I found some of the projects, a lot of them um, were destroyed over the months that we did Paper Sloyd in, uh, but so many of them are still in really good condition. We found ways to use this. We're using the little basket to hold our push pins for our artboard. I'm still using this to hold my pins at our homeschool. And I, I keep this in my wallet, little book. We hang this on the door. Nobody's really using this. I think somebody sat on it, but I did find it. So it's in the video. Anyway, I just wanted to chat with you guys and talk about the year one project. So how did you do? We will be continuing our Paper Sloyd journey with year two when my son starts second grade. So it will be um, probably eight or nine months until we, I start making videos again. Maybe I will go through these in the evening and do them by myself so I know what I'm doing next year and they'll come out sooner. Haven't quite decided yet, um, but here are all the projects that we made in Edna and Reich's book or Edna Ann Rich. I'm not exactly sure how you say her name. I know I've mispronounced it through all of my videos. Um, I wanted to find out some, something about her, like how did she make this book? Who was she? I can't find anything. So if any of you know anything about her, I can't find anything. I might write the publisher, maybe. They would know something. The correspondence with her, who she was. Anyway, this was written in 1905, which was before World War I and World War II. Therefore, a lot of records got lost. So in closing, we love Paper Sloyd. It has greatly enriched our homeschool. I love crafts. If you can't tell from my channel, I love crafts. A lot of people, they're, you know, they do math and science and history and everything. We do a lot of crafts in our homeschool. We still do math and science and history, but crafts are my passion and I'm grateful to be married to my husband who loves math and science and history and not so much on the crafts. Like we were really good, we meshed together really well. Um, I honestly struggled with a lot of the Paper Sloyd projects. I had to get my husband the engineering brain to help. Even though he doesn't like crafts, he's, he still has the engineering brain. And a few times I thought I'm not gonna get this finished. I am a 34 year old woman and I'm struggling with a first graders craft. So that was a bit humbling, but we got through them all and I made them all. My son made them all and we learned a lot and we learned about, we learned math by using our ruler. We learned so much about folding paper and contouring and measuring and I think this should be in schools now. I think first and second graders would love these little crafts. Anyway, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna look up the Anna S. C. Blake Manual Training School in Santa Barbara, California, and I'm gonna send them an email about Edna Ann Reich, and I'm gonna make a video about what I find, because I really wanna know about her, what kind of woman could create this kind of craft. Um, I'm probably wrong, but from my thinking, Women didn't usually do this sort of thing. Maybe woodworking, this is the precursor to woodworking. So I think it's amazing that in 19, the 1900s, a woman wrote this book. All right, both of you come downstairs now. Hey, hey Ruben, why are you screaming? Anyway. My house is melting down now, and I better go. Bye! Mmm, this one got screamed at by a sister. I don't think I can slouch down low enough to be in the video. Can you sit up a little bit? <laughs> so that we both fit. There we go. So, I'm making a video here about our paper sloid that we did. What did you think about paper sloid? Do you like doing it? I want to do more. Babe. You want to do more? Okay, what's your, what was your favorite project? that you got to make. The book, you like that the best? I think my favorite one was the pencil thing. Is paper sloyd hard? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? 
This you can put like two eggs in. Yes. And this can you can put one egg. I thought this was a really cute little egg basket. This one is the spool. It's for like thread for sewing, I believe. We don't sew here. We we'll use it for something else. Look, you can put your little miniature dinosaur in there. The leg <laughs> broke off. The leg broke off. Oh dear, it did. I love you. Mm. Mm. Um, I did find another paper Floyd book. Can you go grab it from the shelf, Ruben? Yeah. I don't know if you can find it. It's not, it'll be on the bottom shelf, I think. Down here? No. <laughs> So when I was researching, I found this paper slurry book. It's Paper Modeling by M. Swanell. And apparently this one is one that um, Charlotte Mason used too. And we're gonna do the year one projects in this because my son is in year one. And maybe I'll make some videos about this one too. What are you doing? <laughs> you being silly? What are we making here that was cool? Uh, the barn. It was really hard. Oh yeah, we made a barn, didn't we? Yeah. It was hard. Did mommy have to ask daddy for help? <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure if this one is currently copy written. I don't know if I can show it because this one is in the Google domain as a like an open source book. But I have to do some research if I can make videos about this one or not. So we'll see. I'll let you guys go. And Say goodbye. Bye bye.